This episode brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Like cool stuff? Want to save 15% on it? Use coupon code SPRING14. Why spend your money somewhere else when you can be awesome? Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shore. Put down your pieces. It's time to make a cocktail. Pay attention. Ah, sure. Um, today we're making the double raspberry. This recipe submitted by Steven. Yesterday's recipe was submitted by Mario. Not Super Mario. Just a guy named uh, Mario do, do, do. from Australia. Yeah. So, one and a half ounces of raspberry vodka. Called the double raspberry. Because it's got two raspberries! It's got raspberry vodka. And uh, it has raspberry liqueur. We're using Chateau and we've got an ounce of lemon juice, which this isn't. This is an ounce of simple syrup. It's actually quite a few more ounces, but we're only gonna use an ounce because I have a easy step sugar. And my ounce of lemon comes out of this lemon here. We're just gonna beat it into submission. And boom, what do we got right there? Oh, I kinda like a little lemon simple syrup, 101. Yeah, that's right, on the fly. That's how we roll here. We make stuff that the recipe says we need. So that's it. We're going to add this. Don't understand why, but we're gonna put it into a, a stemmed, what are these called? Wine glasses. This is a, a sponsored one from JetBlue and Boston Wine Expo a couple years ago. How many years ago? They don't say. A few now. Yeah. Been in a couple years. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's make it happen. I'm gonna shake it. I'm not gonna spill this time. So let's add hey, in. What bitters would be good in a margarita? What bitters would be good in a margarita? Depends on what type of margarita. I would love to experiment with like a chocolate bitter, like an Aztec chocolate bitter. A little bit of chocolate hint to the margarita. Um, obviously, any citrus. Any citrus bitter would work. I like to go above and beyond and do something a little bit different. Um, obviously, orange bitters because that's going to be a citrus. Cherry might work. Uh, if you wanted to get kind of slightly crazy, I would probably go with habanero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, habanero would work. Uh, hop grapefruit, the tiki bitters might work, give it a cool flavor. Uh, but I, my instinct would be to try something different with like a little chocolate bitter. I think that would be neat. Of course, if you don't have chocolate bitters, then that challenge could be more difficult. But of course, that's why you go to awesomedrinks.com and you solve that problem. But most people already have. It's just there's a lot of bitter options, so. Or you could do celery. You could do that would celery be pretty bitters. Unique. <laughs> I would not. I'd rather use black walnut Tequila bitters. Tequila than... and celery. Yeah. Not thinking any of that is a good time. Could be. You never know. Let's try it. Uh, celery bitters are just very specific they're in very my. They're very celery. Yeah, they're very celery. Ounce and a half. Boom, 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 bar. I haven't used this in a while. But this is still my first bottle I've ever had of raspberry. I don't even know where we got this. I think your aunt. That was pomegranate. Oh. Unless we had another one, but I have people buy me alcohol sometimes. Way back when. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Nobody buys me alcohol anymore. They're like, what do you need alcohol for? You're nuts. You're crazy. In a couple years, we have to figure out how to lock all this alcohol up. Right. Well, that's going to be a, a good time. Oh, yeah. Lots of happy hot dog water there. All right. Ice! Well, let's keep the glass firmly planted to the table as we apply our ice diligently to our glass. And then, we shake it up. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I forgot about the arm. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, boomtown bitters. That could be cool on a margarita. Yeah, I know. It's Eric. Oh, I was a little, I'm a little lightheaded at the moment. Ten seconds later, he'll he'll see the sale come through. Cha-ching! Capice cubes! One. Two. That's right. Beauty. A thing of excellence. Oh, it looks like wine. If wine was not like wine but more like a sangria. There you go. Open up the question to your... I'm opening up the question, you guys. To your viewers. Here's a question for you. Good bitter for margarita. Oh, that was a question. Question today, what's a good bitter for margarita? If you don't know, go to awesomedrinks.com slash, I don't know, bitters? 
or something. This is a sidebar. It says bitters by brand. Suggest what a good bitter combo would be for a margarita. And we do have lime bitters, but still. Oh. This is a summer cocktail right here. Thank you, Steven. I get a little hint of... I want to say... I, I, for some reason, like an essence of coffee. I would say... This is tasty. I like this. It's really good. Kind of tastes a little bit like wine. Um, it almost tastes like a little cocoa nibs or something. Like a little chocolate and coffee mixed into what's obviously got raspberries. But that raspberry kind of gives me almost like a raspberry cherry thing. And it, it reminds me of some of the subtleties of a, of a red wine. Without... Without the... Um, alcohol from my on an alcohol scale for this cocktail I'm gonna say a one the lemon it's it, it's just the right balance of sugar lemon where it tastes like a sour mix or a lemonade if you will uh, where it gives you that nice acidity that's just the right amount of acidity where you're not like oh that's a sour drink but man I want to take another sip over and over again like this is this is punch worthy my friends What's it called again? It's called the double raspberry. Hmm. You have to try this. I don't know uh, if I, I say that all the time. You bring it to me. No, but you really do. Uh, and in you, the, ow, the global use, uh, I just it just didn't seem like something that was. I mean, that it's not that radical of a drink. It's, and I almost thought it was overkill. You're taking raspberry and you're adding raspberry to it, but raspberry vodka. Has a little bit more of a fakey fake. Um, cough medicine taste? I don't know if it's cough medicine per se. But let's find out. Hmm. This is where that cherry kind of comes out of. This this is a little bit more green, like a little bit more vegetal or something. To the raspberry. This, it tastes like a, you know what? This vodka, this vodka tastes like a raspberry that's not ripe. You know when you bite into a raspberry that's not really juicy, it's got a little tart, like uh, almost tastes like the leaf a little bit, like a, still kind of get that green flavor. And that's what this vodka has. Then the Chateau Monet, um, this brings your sweetness and your juicy raspberry, and you bring them together with the with the basically of like a lemonade. You're creating a raspberry lemonade. A raspberry lemonade that's not sweet, not too sour, but has a nice acidity to it. That's got to be what I'm getting out of this. Is It's a raspberry lemonade. And not like Snapple raspberry lemonade. That is like, have you had Snapple raspberry lemonade, Jennifer? It's pretty sweet. Right? Mm, Am I, I wrong here? I've had it. Question three of the day. Is raspberry Snapple lemonade sweet? Um, this has got much more depth to it. I like it. Good job, Stephen. Um, I don't know where you got it, if you made it, but... This is your poolside cocktail for the week. Uh, maybe the best cocktail thus far this month. I don't know how many days we're in. Uh, it's just very, it's very easy, nice build, complex enough, but yet simple, straightforward, raspberry in your grill hole. Ah. I just want to animate and it hurts when I animate. So that's it. Any other questions? Anybody have a question? You, you know what? This could use bitters. It's really, it's, it's really well balanced. Uh, so I don't really know if it would do much with bitters. Uh, if I were to use bitters in this, I think the cherry bitters would probably play really well in here because it's the cherry bitters aren't cherry enough. I'd say two or three dashes to, to bring out, draw out a little bit more of the cherry, add that secondary complexity to the raspberry, and then it would be double raspberry with a little hint of cherry. And that might be cool. Just a suggestion. I wouldn't suggest celery in here. Um, I wouldn't suggest any of the hotter ones. Maybe New England cranberry. Uh, by the way, if people may have asked or want to know, the uh, Bitterman's cranberry and coffee, which we sell, I think we only have one coffee left, uh, are seasonal. So if you buy them, they're only uh, we only carry them until the end of the season. So once they're sold out, we're done until they tell us that we're not done anymore. And I hear somebody just sent us a message saying asking if we're going to get the cucumber such and such bitters that they that they have as a seasonal. So I asked about that. That should be interesting. 
I'd like to try a cucumber bitter. We don't have anything, I don't think, with cucumbers in it. That's it, my friends. I don't sell wine glasses on OsterDrakes.com. It's just too easy to get them at Target, so I don't know if there's a market for it. There. Tell me. Is there a market for nice wine glasses? You no. can. No. No? No, there isn't. I don't think I have these out there yet either, but these will be here. The, the pint glasses, CMC pint glasses are coming up. Get them in our shaker. That's it. Pasta shaker. Pink. We're done. Are we good? Nobody good. here to tell me otherwise. Teach you how to drink.